Hi, my name is John Sweeney. Today we're going to take apart an HP 8300. Uh, we'll start by taking the screw in the back here and loosen it. It will then slide out like this. I'll set this off to the side. Now the hard drive is under the optical disk drive here. So you'll have to unplug the SATA and the power for that. It's this blue cable. Next, there is a green tabs on the front faceplate. We just simply loosen those and it comes right off. The next step is this other green tab here on the optical disk drive. Pull it and it should slide right out. The next step is to remove the hard drive. There is a tab right here on the hard drive carriage. You're just going to squeeze that and lift. The hard drive will lift directly out. To remove the hard drive from the carriage, you'll take a straight screwdriver and remove the screws. Once you remove the screws, the hard drive should slide directly out. All right, next step is to install the new hard drive. You're going to take your hard drive carriage and your new hard drive. You'll notice that the hard drive carriage sits in here like this, and your hard drive needs to be placed like this with the SATA ports towards you. It should slide directly in, and you lift it all the way to the top so the, the screw holes will align. Next step is just to screw the screws in. All right, once you have your screws put in, take the hard drive carriage with the SATA ports facing you and drop it down into the hard drive bay. Take the tab, slide it down, and it locks into place. The next step will be to reinsert your optical disk drive. The green tab, squeeze it in so it misses this tab right here, and it should slide in and click into place. Before you forget, take the SATA cable and plug it back in. Next, you'll want to attach the faceplate. There are three holes in the front of the computer and three tabs on the bottom. You'll want to line these up and it simply just clicks into place. The three tabs that we took off earlier, the green tabs, you want to make sure that they are clicked back into place and then simply reattach the top cover. There's a hole in the back here with a tab. You want to make sure that it is lined up properly. It should slip right into place. Next, simply screw it back together. And that is how you take a hard drive at an HP 8300.